So hello everyone, this is Akshay here. Welcome to our channel of GFG Purity Streak of Day 91. So before starting the question, if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that we can learn and grow together and maintain our streak together. So if there are a group of person doing one thing, so it is like we'll go, we'll move ahead in the long run, right? So let's move to the question now. So today's question is again of easy category. So GFG is now having a habit of uh, <laughs> giving an easy questions in a like uh, uh, thrice times, or four times, and then they <laughs> switch to the hard question and they keep on giving it. So okay, so the question name is maximum weight node, and let's see what the question says. So given a maze with n cells, each cell may have multiple entry points, but not more than one exit. Okay, that is the entry and exit points are unidirectional doors like walls. Okay, so you are given an edge of n integers where edge of i, where the actual the array elements contains the cell index that can be reached from cell i. Okay, that means that there is a that there is a unidirectional edge from the index to the array element, right? If I'm not wrong, yeah, right. So edge of so if so if the array elements that is edge of i is minus one, then the i itself does not have an exit. Okay. The task is to find the cell with the maximum weight and their definition of maximum weight is the weight of the cell is the sum of the cell indexes of the cell pointing to that cell. Okay. 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 So if there are multiple cells with the maximum weight return the cell with the highest index and the cells are the index with an integer 0 to n minus 1. Okay. So if n equals to 4, then the array elements of this edge will be from 0 to 3. That is 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay. So if there is no cell pointing to the i h cell, the weight of the i h cell is 0. Okay. So let's see the first test case, what it is saying. Mm, since there are unidirectional edge involves, we need to make a graph kind of thing here. So let's make it. So they are saying that they have this array. This is 2, 0, minus 1, and 2. And this is actually the cells. This is actually the cells ranging from 0 to n minus 1. Right? And that's the index here, that is 0, 1, 2, 3. And they are saying that they have an edge here from 0 to 2, 1 to 0, 2 to minus 1. Uh, if it's minus 1, then it is it is not considered, right? The, there is no cell of thing minus 1. And 3 to 2. So if I draw a graph, it is saying that I have an edge from 0 to 2. And I have this 1 to 0. So I'll make this thing 1 to 0. And it is from 3 to 2. So let's say 3 is here and it is pointing to this thing 2. And what it is saying next that the weight of the cells, that the weight of the cells is actually the sum. It was actually the sum, right? Let's get back to the question again. That the weight of the cell is the is the sum of the cell indexes of all the cell pointing to that cell. Okay. So weight of this 2 is actually the sum of indexes. That is the index pointing is 0 and 3 right the sum of those indexes pointing to that cell so the weight here will be the actual edges so it is 0 and 3 right so i will sum it as 0 plus 3 this is this is the thing they are saying for 0 only just one is pointing so the weight of 0 will be 1 and 3 there is no one pointing to it so it will be 0 right <clears throat> so this is what they are saying right so Okay, and if you see that the maximum weight is 3, right? Maximum weight is 3. So they have returned the cell. Uh, they have returned the corresponding cell that is 2, right? So let's see the second test case. Uh, the edge is minus 1. Okay, so in that case is 0. So there is no second test case, right? So let's run for a one more test case. We will take elements, let's say 2, 2, 0. And this have the indexes as 0, 1, and 2, right? So what the, what the question is saying that it has a unidirectional edge from the i -th to the array of i. So array of i. So let's make an edge. And now let's make an array. So it is saying that this is 2 and 0 is pointing to 2, right? And then 1 is also pointing to 2. So let's point it. And then 2 is what? Pointing to 0. Is that right? So let's make it. 2 is pointing to 0. So what will be the weight of 2? You can see that the 0 and 1 is pointing to 2, right? So the weight of 2 will be 0 plus 1. As well as for the 0 thing, you can see that the 2 is pointing to 0, right? So the weight of 0 will be 2. And the, why, why is this because? Because the definition was saying 
that the weight of the cell is the sum of cell indexes of all the cells pointing to that cell and these are all the indexes right these are all the indexes 0 1 2 3 these are all the indexes right okay so i hope you're getting this point and if you see that the maximum weight here is 2 right so the answer for this thing will be also 2 right now actually the corresponding cell you have to return right so answer will be 0 let's verify it for this test case if the answer came as 0 or not and if that's the case then we will just uh, be making sure that uh, we and the this question are, are on the same page and we'll proceed ahead with uh, the code coding section so 2 2 and 0 let's compile and run so expected output is 0 so okay so uh, we we and the question are on the same page so we are thinking in the right directions before coding it let's visualize the constraint part so it is 10 power 5 right it is 10 power 5 and what's the worst complexity you can use for 10 power 5 it is n root n y because i have made this chart here as you can see for 10 power 5 we can use n root n the worst and we can use below one and if you are not able to understand this chart, I have made this video on the time complexity. You must go and visit that thing because constraint is a very important aspect of a question. You must know how to read that. Okay, so you can use n root n and you can go below. So if you go below, it will be n, it will be log n and it will be um, like below log n what's, whatsoever it is. And why it is n root n? Because it is less than 10 power 8. As soon as you code a solution which is greater than 10 power 8, the time complexity, it gives you TLE, right? That's the main logic here. You must see that video. Okay, so let's move ahead. So we cannot use n log n. And if you would have the opportunity of using the n log n, I would have started thinking in terms of heap, in terms of sorting, or in terms of tree map, right? These are all the things that I've discussed in that video, you must be aware of. As I can show you the second chart. So these are all the things. It should be, if, if, if it would have been n log n, I would be starting thinking the direction of tree map or heap or sorting, right? Because those are the standard structures which require n log n. So that's not the case. And for n root n, there is no standard structure or algorithm, right? We have to manipulation, we have to do either manipulation and the expected complexity will be in this range only. As you can see, GFG has mentioned expected of O of n, right? Okay. So, um, leaving all this heap sorting and tree map let's see how we can do so what i am thinking i am uh, seeing here is i just need to maintain a list which actually contains the weight you know, and which actually contains the weight and let's say which actually has the cell and cell should have its weight and i will just do a linear traversal in this list and find uh, which has the maximum weight right so how we can do that so let's make a weight array of size n right and how we can do so suppose till till now you must have visualized that if a is pointing to b that means that weight of b or let's say c is also pointing to b then you can see that the weight of b will be c plus a right and this is nothing but the indexes right so what the pseudocode i can write is i will just iterate for i equals to zero i less than n i plus plus right and i will i will have this weight of n size because let's say for n equals to 4 then i have the range from 0 to 3 so if i make a array of n equals to 4 it will be 0 1 2 3 right perfect perfect and these are actual the indexes will actually be the uh, range of the cell right and we will store the uh, this will be indexes which will actually pointing to the cell and we will store the weight so how we can do that so how am I, what I'm doing is, what I'm doing is I'm, suppose I'm this element and what I'm doing is I'm saying that the cell, let's say weight, I'm, what I'm saying that weight of two is equals to what? Is equals to what? This index I'm at and suppose I'm for i equals to zero I'm at. So I will say that weight of two is plus equals to i. Initially I will fill everything with zero and I will say that weight of two, weight of two is plus equals to i and it will be now updated to Firstly, it was zero, right? So it will be updated to zero again. And then I will see, I will go here and I will see that weight of zero is now is equals to this index one. So I will just update it as one, right? Now weight of uh, minus one. So there is no cell uh, which has, which has the value of minus one. So I'll move again, next pointer. So I will say that weight of two is actually 
the sum of its indexes right so i will so initially i have already uh, marked it with zero because two already occurred twice and now i will do zero plus three that is updated to three so now i have this thing in my arsenal and i can see i can see that the indexes are actually the cell right and this is the weight and in the question it is saying that if you have such weight which is actually repeating so suppose if we would have this one more cell here uh, let me represent with a red color so if you if you would have one more cell here with this four and the value was weight is again three so you can see this three and this three matches so in that case we have to return this the highest cell index right so but that's not the case this is not present right but we have to handle that case also so we can do this thing this pre-processing it's very easy what i would write in the pseudo code that what if it should not be equals to minus one that if edge of i is not equals to minus one then i need to pre-process and how i will pre-process that weight of edge of i right plus equals to i that's the case okay now i have updated this array how now i will make sure that we need to find the maximum weight in this array in this in this weight array also we need to so we need to see that if there are duplicate weights then we need to return the maximum indexes so i need two variables now that int max weight right and int max weight its index its index and let's point it to minus one initially minus one or uh, you can also point it to minus infinity right so since minus one is not the answer should shouldn't be the answer in our case in any of the case that's why i'm taking it as minus one right so i will just iterate in the loop for i equals to zero to i less than n i plus plus and what i will write i will just see that if the current weight which i'm pointing at that is weight of i is greater than equals to my max weight max weight then i'll update it i'll update with with what max weight is equals to weight of i right and I'll, and the same time i will update my max weight index so let's say idx is equals to i correct that the pointer which i am right so if i just dry run it for you what it, what it will happen that for i equals to zero suppose this is max weight and this is max weight index so the whole catch whole catch is here that you are making a equals to sign that is actually handling that if there are duplicate weights that if there are duplicate weights this will handle to return the maximum cell index this will do that part so how it is doing let's see for i equals to zero the maximum weight was actually equals to minus one it was minus one right so it is compared that if one is greater than equals to minus one right so it is updated to one and it is it is updated to its index that is zero for i equals to one we have this zero so zero is greater than my one this thing so it is not right it will not be get updated and this index will also not be updated so for i equals to two we will see that the weight is three right so three is greater than our previous answer that is one so it will be updated to three and the index will be updated to two right and this index is actually the uh, cell so last iteration for i equals to three you can see that the value is zero and zero is not greater than our previous answer so there will be no updation the previous answer will be just getting copied and at last we just have to return this index max weight index two that was our answer in this test case right and it would have handled the this thing also if i if if at i equals to let's say four the what is this this weight was three right and the previous weight was also three so it, it will look at as three greater than equals to three right and index will be now updated to four because that's already in sorted order that's already in sorted order right so, okay okay so let's code this thing now and what will be the time complexity so it will be the first for loop is taking o of n and the second for loop is also taking o of n so the time complexity of this problem will be o of 2n right and space complexity since we have used an array so it will be o of n and since n is 10 power 5 it will be less than 10 power 8 and we will not get our tle so we are on the right direction so let's code the solution 
So for what is the step one? Step one will be to make some pre-processing and do the weightage thing, right? So let's do it. Wait a second. Hmm. So let's do that. Mm, let's make our first int weight array. And I will say new int n because we have this uh, mentioned in this question in the node that the cells will be in the range of 0 to n minus 1. Okay. So we'll make a first for loop. We'll, we will do the processing because that was our first intuition. What was our intuition? That this was our intuition, this thing. That if there's a b and this index c and a is pointing to b, then the weight of the b will be c plus a. So let's code that thing. So i less than equals less than n, i plus plus. I will say that weight of weight of the what's the array elements we are processing? That is edge of i and plus equals to i, right? So that's the thing. Now we are here at step two to find the max weight. So let's make a variable max weight is equals to minus one and int max weight idx is equals to minus one. So let's run a for loop for i int equals to zero, i less than equals to n, i plus plus, right? So meanwhile, while doing the code and if you're liking my teaching way and if you are getting the logic, if my channel is helping you, please subscribe my channel so that we can together maintain our streak and grow and nurture together. So if weight is greater than equals to max, what we have to do? We have to update our max that is equals to weight and max weight index will also be updated because that's the answer that we need to return, right? We don't need to return just the maximum weight. We need to return for the cell which has the maximum weight, right? And if there are multiple cells with the maximum weight written on the highest cell index, so this is taking care of that. So let me just copy paste this line here. So this equality sign is taking care of this sentence. If there are multiple cells that it will return the highest index, right? So I will just say return max weight id x that is it let's compile and run okay so we have some syntax mistake here now i think we are good to go so let's run it again oh i i found another error uh i have used the variable max weight right so i need to write it like this okay also, I need, I just saw one more thing that it should be weight of i, right? We are updating with the current weight. So everything seems fine to me now. So let's hit the compile button. Okay, okay, okay. So we have not used the WIGST. We have used the actually weight. Let me pause the video and do the things. Yes, so that was the problem that I have used the WT as my array and I was using WEIGST to access that index, so that was impossible. So our input test case is passed. So let's just hit the submit button. And since this code is in time complexity of O of 2n, that is the lower bound of 10 power 8, it should work. Okay, one last thing, guys. I found another index minus 1. So while explaining, I told you that we do not have to compute for edge for the array elements that is pointing is equals to minus one, right? We just need to compute for when it is not equals to minus one. Okay, so we have <laughs> um, used uh, so much of time here. So that's it. I think we are good to go now. Hmm. So finally, everything passed, and I don't think we need a code, code walkthrough again. The intuition was only this thing that if B, if C and A are the indexes that is pointing to the B, and B is actually the cell, that the weight will be C plus A. We made a weight array, and then we just iterate using a for loop, finding the max weight and the weight index. So the last thing that this is my research repository. You can start and forward, get help with the source code, and that's my Instagram channel for just for you guys to be stay connected for 24 into 7 for in doubts and guidance. 
And if you are new to this channel, if you like my content, please like, share and subscribe. Till then, keep studying, keep growing. Bye-bye.